got eliminated, but... <laughs> Okay. I've just been eliminated from the competition, and that sucks. But to be honest, I feel kind of relieved not uh, having to have all the pressure of doing a showcase post. But there's a chance that I can come back in the competition, so I am hopeful. But yeah, like your guys' videos was amazing. Thank you. Uh, Kitty and Eleanor are the top two which is so cool. They were the first two people that I met when I started this competition, so I'm so excited for them. Congratulations, y'all. Right Time too. Everyone, I'm proud of all y'all. Ah, oh my God, me and Kitty. Me and Kitty, top two. I swear, I kind of predicted this, honestly, like from the minute I saw Kitty in her cool jacket, I was like, she's gonna be top two. But yeah, it's definitely scary to go into the top two being on the bottom for the first time. <gasps> It is so weird to be in the top two with Eleanor. She's been like my closest friend this entire journey. I can see the finish line. I'm going to get that 50K. We're so close. We're so freaking close. This is week nine. I'm stressing most about the idea of maybe being put back in the game because each week the girls have elevated and elevated in the type of content they're making. So I'm hoping that if I get the chance to be put back in, I can level up to where they're at. Two more weeks of the show, dude. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I feel great walking into week nine, uh, coming off a win last week, looking to get another win today. In terms of getting voted back in the game, I think the person who's won most of the challenges, or six out of eight challenges to be exact, should probably come back in. Carrington's like low-key the sneakiest threat there is. He's just destroying all of us week after week in every brand challenge. So I know if Carrington's voted back in, like whether it's me or Kitty, whoever he's going up against is gonna have a massive challenge. I'm gonna miss y'all, for yeah, real. I'm gonna miss y'all, dude, this has been a... Winning the 50K would mean a lot to me and my family, and being able to have another shot to really showcase who I've become as a creator over the course of this whole experience would mean a lot to me. It's like crazy, I almost feel like I can finally crack the code on like stuff I wanna do. Did we like definitely make it to the last one? Is it a final three? Like, so we could be eliminated before the finals? You think so? It's kind of hard, actually, to keep my brain focused on the brand challenge because I know I have a showcase post tonight and I know it's against Kitty and I know she's thinking the exact same thing. We got Alva on the line. Hey, Kai girl. Hey, cowboy. I miss you, Kai girl. I miss you, cowboy. How you feeling, girl? I'm feeling like I ate bad crawfish. One thing that I would do differently in this challenge is not be sick. Well, get some rest. We love you. Bye, love guys, girl. Bye. 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 Welcome, everyone. Hey. Unfortunately, Elva is feeling a little under the weather today, so she will be sitting out of this week's challenge. However, Hugh, Kayla, Vince, Carrington, and Keith even though you have all been eliminated at this point, you are still eligible to win this challenge and the $1,000 in cash, so it's time to bring it. Ooh. So you may not know this about me, but I actually started creating content when I was 13 years old. What? As a kid, making videos on YouTube was simple and, well, simply fun. And this week, we will be working with an iconic product that evokes fun and nostalgia, Hubba Bubba Mini Gum. Hubba Bubba was my favorite gum growing up. I'm excited to win the challenge for them. Hubba Bubba, hit me up. I'm gonna win me $1,000, and I'm gonna work with you long-term. 
I think we all remember eating Hubba Bubba when we were kids. I'm so excited to be working with Hubba Bubba today. I love the gum growing up, the little ropes, and now we're working with minis, so it's like a new twist on an old favorite. Now the Hubba Bubba brand inspires kids at heart with a tasty chewing and bubble making experience that brings out our fun, playful sides. I want you all to take that brand identity and use it to influence your content this week. And for this challenge, you are going to incorporate Hubba Bubba Mini Gum coming in Skittles original flavors. So cool. So this is gonna be a pretty fun challenge. Yeah. I love Hubba Bubba. We used to get like the, the big old tape guys as a kid, but if it's Skittle flavored, it should be tasty. To coach you all through this week's challenge is a follow me favorite. He's a reality TV personality, host, and lover of all things pop culture, Courtney Revolution. Now, as always, he will be judging your performance at the end of this challenge. All right, come on over, Courtney. Oh! Hi! Hi, good to see you. Hi, everybody. Hi. I'm excited that Courtney is one of our guest judges because he also was last year on Follow Me. So I know that he knows the game. He probably knows exactly what he's looking for, and I'm ready to impress him. Now in this challenge, we're daring you to find and go back and reconnect with your inner child. Inspired by Hubba Bubba Mini Gum, this week is all about instant mood boost and fun vibes. The team that best shows us their inner child in the most fun and creative way, while enabling the world to be more playful, will be the winner of this week's challenge. So we will be dividing you into three teams. We have randomly pre-selected these teams, so let's see who's paired with who. First up is Vince, Kayla, and Hugh. Oh. Oh. Hey, okay. oh. Next we have Keith and Carrington. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone says they can't win with Keith. I'm gonna show you that you can't, I can, and it's gonna be just that much more of a statement when I win. And finally, that leaves us with Eleanor and Kitty. Yay! <laughs> I like to look at these teams, but here's what I'm looking for in your challenge post. Your post must show the importance of adding play to your everyday life. Your post must introduce us to your inner child. And your post cannot be more than 30 seconds. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. And remember, winning team of this challenge will receive $1,000 in cash each. So good luck, you guys. <laughs> Today I got partnered up with Carrington. I'm excited. Carrington has cracked whatever code this is. I don't know if it's a good luck charm. I think this man has just figured it out. And I'm taking notes. Follow me! <laughs> All right, Hubba Baba. Hubba Baba. Hubba Baba. Oh, they have the original, too. Oh, I can't wait to right, tell we'll this going. That's all I can think about. Let's go on the couch. Get out of here. I definitely have some ideas, too. Let's go. What do we got? Bubbles? Oh. Oh, the bubbles! The only reason that there's ever been called a Keith curse is because I haven't worked with Keith yet, so I haven't been able to win with him. I'm confident that I know how to make these brand videos good. I know how to hit all the brand points. I think we're going to get an easy win. I can't wait to show everyone that Keith is smart and Keith knows what he's doing. Yeah. What, are you, what are you thinking? Kind of this is what I'm envisioning. It kind of branches off for a little bit for a second. So we're in each other's face. Like one of us is trying to like instigate something. Like we're trying to play, but the other one of us is like, hmm, I can't, that, yeah. right? Like I can't, I gotta make work calls. No, you get to make work calls, kind of reframing. Good idea. I think Keith has great ideas. I think what really helps for Keith is to have someone that complements his very strategic style. So I think that's why I work together well. I think you're totally right with, with imagination. Yeah. And that's what being a kid is all about, like yeah. using your imagination. No, but I always think I have good ideas for challenges, and I'm only one three, so. Well, I don't, this is just, this is just us being silly. What should we be doing right now? Eleanor and I have a showcase post this week, and now we're partnered for this brain challenge, and we have no energy left to give. On the scooter, like something that just incorporates more of that. Or maybe I'm like, Chilling on the ball, and I'm like trying to get the gum out of my hair. Like something that. Chilling on the ball would be cute. We're like, nothing is working. Nothing is popping up. I feel like I every single challenge I played so safe. I'm like, this will fit the brand points and this blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. And I thought that's how you win, but not, just watching his stuff, it's like, create a good video. Exactly. That's exactly. Did you have any immediate ideas? Housing and music. 
I feel like music, trans like, <laughs> for me, music is very transformative. Like, it's, you know what I mean? Like, I hear a song, I'm like, oh my god, like, that takes me back to a time when I was, like, doing this Do or whatever. Do you want to make a hubbub of a theme song? Because oh, I thought yeah, about that. We literally, because you make songs, you literally make songs. I thought about that, that cool. as well. Yeah. Okay. My music, most of it is really in that realm of just nostalgia and fun, so I feel like it really lends well to these challenges. We kind of have the hubba bubba like with us on the TV, you know, we're dancing with or whatever, mm -hmm. and then we pass it to you through the TV. Yeah! And you pass it to the, the real, like us, the boring ones, and then we become bright and playful, like the people on the TV, you know? Like, maybe it starts off like, like, oh, you think you're a big kid now? Uh -huh. And then, and then, then you're like, you're like, yeah, but you're a kid too. Carrington comes in and he has like ideas coming out the wazoo. Then it's like we're having hubbubba and we're just doing kid stuff. <laughs> you literally see the gears turning in his head when he's doing something. Just every every, every shot is like hubbubba, play and hubbubba. Hub 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 play and hubbubba. Yeah. Every single shot. And he'll be giggling to himself the whole time. Me kind of like diving into like a like like a key. You're like, wait, what just happened? <laughs> this whole thing will be reminiscing on your inner child. Yeah. Wait, we should maybe focus on like the, the stylistic aspect of nostalgia. I think it'd be really cool to do like a sitcom intro. You know what I mean? Like where it's like the door opens and it's like older sister and like grandma and like the, the boyfriend. And we could make it really like grainy and add that type of music. And then like each of the characters could be interacting kind of with the gum in a different way. If there's one thing I know about a brand challenge, it's that if you miss the brand points, you're not gonna win. I still think it's a risk not to maybe involve like the childlike wonder that the guest judge might be looking for, but I think we're doing it in our own Kitty and Eleanor way. It would be like scroll worthy yeah. too. Okay. We can start with opening the door and it can be the first character and like the class, like yay, you know how oh, the class with every character yes. and it's like one of us in a funny costume. Just use, I have the, the instrumental to Sweet Cheeks. <laughs> maybe we would just use the instrumental oh. and we can make a new song. Based on to the, the same melody, so it's easier perfect. than That's trying so to perfect. figure out a whole new melody. No, I love that. We decide we're gonna take my song Sweet Cheeks and make a jingle for it. So so yum. So so yum. So so yum. Okay. And is gonna win us this competition. And it's like the hubba bubba makes us all play together. <laughs> Excited about this. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun one. Guys, do y'all wanna agree to share the props since they're so good? Yeah. Yeah, which one? That's really want? sweet of you to bring up. The Boshu ball. The scooter. Mm. That. Should we go look at that stuff again? Yeah. yeah. Hello? I'm very excited. Okay. Should we go look at the clothes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we able to twist the Hubba Bubba label a little bit? My concept is reintroducing fun back into our lives. Hey, Keith, let's play. We have two guys who are friends, um, but one wants to play, the other one just can't. What are you talking about? You're not Minnie anymore. He has to work, and then they work together to find fun again. Ready, go. Is this work? Sure is, Keith. What are you looking at? Eleanor is just such a brilliant human, and she comes up with the idea of Doing a nostalgic homage to um, like 90s sitcom intro videos. So good. Ah! Love, love. I love when I get into brand challenges and people have ideas for me because I'm really good at being a team player. Baba, baba. <laughs> Nostalgia. Our concept requires so many costume changes. Yeah, perfect. I don't know if we're necessarily hitting like the child like wonder that the that the challenge is requiring. I brought you a gift. It's Hubba Bubba. Minis. I know that when I see that style of video or content, I remember being a little kid. I'm late. Excellent. Okay. We'll give you the Hubba Bubba. Mm -hmm. And then I think maybe instead of it brightening this world, maybe we just pull you into our world then. Yeah. Does that make sense? It makes sense, but. Because I'm kind of thinking, how does that make more play for bringing back to childhood? Hmm. Right now, we're having a little bit of a difficulty with solidifying our shot list. And I am a little bit worried only because we have limited time. Supposed to introduce us to their inner child. Oh. The three of us, you know, we're older. Maybe like we're even like senior citizens. 
and we're watching us on the TV, you know, yeah. doing our thing, we're like, yay, whatever. Oh my God, Have cute. Fun. And then we're like, oh, I wish we could go back to like, when we're younger, and we're childlike, mm -hmm. and fun. And then we pull I mean, ourselves in from the TV. Love. And we started dancing on the stage, all of us together, you know? That's so, great. Our concept is bringing us back to the inner child and play. And I'm feeling pretty confident about today. More there playful we go. self, you know? Obsessed. So. The only one I'm, I'm worried about is the, the, the bubbles. I tend to be much more methodical with concepts that are like grounded and hit on the main points. Carrington is really good at coming up with the imaginative things. Everything's a game when you're mini. Woohoo! And bringing things together and making them engaging. Play is business. So we're actually working incredibly well together. No, Keith, you get to work. Look, mini, look. Oh, Baba, oh my God. Oh, those hubba bubbas. Is this work? <laughs> I'm crying. All right, we're good. Uh, sorry, I didn't wow, edit. Good job. Right, edit. Yes, yeah. <laughs> All right, we got this, Keith. Absolutely. Get this dub. We literally have this one and one more challenge, and that's all there is to this whole competition. My family needs this win. I need this win. This goes straight to like childcare and food. Me Papa Bubba makes me feel like a kid again. I'm getting nice at editing. You are. You're gonna do the intro clip with like artsy graphics. I'll finish up the editing probably really quickly, honestly, and then we can agree on like a filter and music. So me and Kayla are splitting up the editing and Vince is putting together our jingle. Kayla is an amazing editor. I feel like I completely trust her with editing and she she knows what she's doing. <laughs> editing queen. <laughs> like, look how long it's taking for like, oh. Whoa, <laughs> to remove background? Yeah, just remove background. I'm like, wow. The only thing is like, we didn't, like there's not a bunch of like minis featuring. Hey, so we didn't really like, use the product. Oh my God, no. Like, what are we doing? Is it bad we never say the name of the gum? Man, Katie and I, halfway through editing, realized we never mentioned the product. We spent all this time thinking about the brand points, and by the time we realize we've missed the biggest one, it's too late to go back and change. Like, we just never say it. <laughs> I love that you're adding in the hubba yes. bubba everywhere. Play is business, <laughs> but we're not mini. Um. Ah! Wait, I think I have an idea. We're on the right track. Is this a game to you? Everything's a game when you're mini. Perfect. 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 Super happy with that, Carrington. I think let's just call it. Yeah. I think that Keith is an excellent teammate. It was very easy for me to work and collaborate with him because he was so rich with ideas. Mini gum makes me feel like a kid again. We're done. I love our pose. I think it's like super catchy and fun. And even with the effects and overlay, it like looks really cool. It came together really well. <laughs> it's so good. You guys. Yes, how about why we're so good? Hi everyone. Hi. So for this week's challenge, you were tasked with creating a playful post, reconnecting with your inner child for Hubba Bubba Mini Gum. So let's take a look at the post. First up, we have Kitty and Eleanor. Let's check it out. Yay. What are you looking at? No, sorry, I can't. I have cheer practice tonight. I brought you a gift. It's Hubba Bubba. Oh, God, I'm late. Have a good day at work, honey. Don't forget. Oh, those Hubba Bubbas. Oh, oh so cute. Yeah. 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 Nostalgia. Oh, I feel like 
like you guys just brought me back to my childhood. Like, I feel that you really nailed that aspect of this challenge because I felt like a kid again, like watching one of my favorite shows. Like, I want to watch that show. Like, I need episode one. Well, I really thought that you guys channeled the nostalgic feeling. I love the 90s TV intro. It was bright, it was energetic. Something that could have been a little bit better was the, the feeling of the inner child. I was wondering where that was, sort of, in this particular post. Also, hubba bubba mini gum. Did you guys say that in your video, in your post at all? <laughs> we might not have. That's super important. <laughs> Overall, a great post. We knew the judge was gonna mention something about that because it's so obvious. So I think, I mean, we're both, we look at each other and we're like. <sighs> all right, next up we have Keith and Carrington. Ooh. Let's check it out. Hey, Keith, let's play. Not now, I'm doing a business. But Keith, play is business. But we're not mini anymore. Is this a game to you? Everything's a game when you're mini. But I have to work. Shh, no, Keith. You get to work. Is this work? Sure is, Keith. Is this play? Sure is, Keith. How about a mini gun makes me feel like a kid again? Keith, relax. First of all, I love seeing you guys on a team together. I thought it was really cool to see you guys work together for this challenge. I think the flow of the concept was really cool, what you guys did like comedically, of like transforming Keith into like his more playful self. So good job. I loved it. I thought that you guys, first of all, if I had to guess, I would think that you guys had like a million subscribers already and that this was like an official brand deal. However, I wonder, if it came together like too well, sometimes you don't want to hit things like too on the nose because then it kind of reads like an ad more so than like an organic kind of check me out moment. But still overall, excellent video, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. I don't have a, a worry in the world about competing with other people. I'm competing with myself at this point and it's just fun for me to keep doing these challenges. Finally, we have Hugh, Vince and Kayla. Let's check it out. <laughs> Hey, world, want to play? I'm Hubba. And I'm Bubba. And I'm Minnie. Oh, uh, remember when we were young? We used to play every day. Do you want to play? play? I'm so young. Uh, 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 uh. Do you want to play? Uh, 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 uh. Minnie Gum is also oh young. Uh, 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 uh. Do you want to play? First of all, I know as individual creators, whenever you come together for like a team project in general, there can be clashing of things because you guys have all of your own brands and your own perspectives. And I feel like this wasn't just one of you because I felt like I saw little bits of all of you in it. I loved this. I would have stopped on this if I was scrolling and I saw this on my feed. It definitely caught my attention. I wonder, if like the jingle kind of like took away maybe from the overall message of the video, but it was still really, really, really great. And I wanted to express that to you. Maybe he was just not vibing with the song. I don't know how he's not though. It's literally so catchy, so I, I don't know. That's not for me to know. Now, those were all such great posts, but of course there can only be one winner. So, Courtney, will you let us know who won this week's challenge? All three posts were amazing, and you all captured the Hubba Bubba Mini Gum brand identity of showing the world to be a more playful place by highlighting the joys of everyday life. But there was one group that really stood out. <laughs> the team that won this challenge is... Those were all such great posts, but of course, there can only be one winner. The team that won this challenge is... Keep the character! Oh, yay! Keep the character, keep the character, keep the character! Winning feels nice. <laughs> oh, finally. <laughs> oh. 
I'm so happy Keith finally won. Like, I'm go Keithers. He deserved it. He's been working really hard in every brand challenge, so I'm I'm really happy to see him win. Of course, it's with Carrington. Like, if his head could get any bigger, it wouldn't fit through the door. But I'm happy Keith won. Keith, congrats on winning your first challenge. Keith and Carrington, you have won this week's challenge, plus $1,000 in cash each. But now, unfortunately, it is time to say goodbye to Courtney. To me? Yeah, oh. thanks for being here. We loved having you. Thank you, Bethany. Good luck and do good work. Thank bye, you. Bye. 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 Thank you. All right, Keith, Carrington, Vince, Kayla, and Hugh, you have all been eliminated from the competition along with Elva. That means Kitty and Eleanor, you will be competing in this week's showcase post. Once your showcase post goes live, our industry experts and online community will decide which of you will secure a spot in the finale and still be in the running to win the $50,000 prize. And remember, one of the eliminated players will be voted back into the finale. So there's a lot to play for. Good luck, and I will see you at elimination. Hey, Bye, bye guys. Goodbye, hey, Bethany. Uh, you guys are just going head to head right now? Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Wait, that's so scary. Honestly, Kitty as a competitor terrifies me. She is so smart. Something about these brand challenges and losing just like a lights a fire within me. Like really? I'm really like ready to go. She had the top post last week, so I know that I have to pull out all the stops for the showcase post. I'm really excited. I even had like a, a, an idea very similar for what I'm doing tomorrow, and then I like weirded it up dramatically because I was just like, wait, that's like very safe. Leave it all on the table. Yeah, leave it on the table. This could be my last showcase post, and I really want to make sure I have nothing left to give. I'm gonna pull out all the stops, baby. As long as we come in tomorrow, we're just confident. I like, that's all I want from the yeah. person I'm going against is to be like, that is like my game winning shot. Kayla came to slay. You came to slay. This is a huge situation. So I decided to go swimming in it this morning and then I threw it in the dryer and now it's um situation. Oh my God, like this is literally it's, I mean, it's without a doubt the coolest costume I've ever done. My concept for this week's showcase post is to be a mermaid, but I know that they'll still be shocked when they see what kind of mermaid I'm gonna be. The makeup Wait. alone took like Oops. four or five hours, and I'm quick with it normally. Like usually a cosplay is like an hour and a half. Wait. Absolute top. This is gonna be crazy. Yeah. I've spent a lot of time telling the industry experts about me through my content, like about the deepest, darkest parts of me, the things that I've been afraid to share. I can't wait to see this. My mind is racing. But visually, my unsettling, off-kilter, weird cosplay is what got me into the competition in the first place. Well, do you need to like start your editing? I'm like, yeah, I, I suppose don't wanna, I should. I'm just, like, I don't know what time it is. I would like, just well, rather talk to you, but I guess same. I'll start. Okay, I love <laughs> All you. right, love you, baby. Thank you, honey. Yeah, let me know if I can do anything. we Will do, here. lover. Hey, you. Hello. I need some help. My concept this week is called Invisible Strings. Do you see the vision? Uh, do you think it's gonna work? Yeah, well. Okay, cool. I basically want to do a tribute to all the invisible disabilities and traumas that people face in everyday life but nobody ever really knows about. Maybe start a new take. Oh, it hasn't been filming. Dude, I have a really bad problem with this. It was not filming. What's wrong with me? Kitty confides in me in her idea for a showcase post, which I think her mind is so cool and she really thinks very outside of the box. Where's my measuring tape? Do you see it anywhere? Measuring tape? I'm feeling so overwhelmed. <laughs> to design a jacket, buy all of the props, to set up a shot list, be the talent, to be the editor, to be the director, it's so much. I'm doing like a 10 man job. You have, let me see. 30 minutes. I think you have like 30 to 40 to edit. Kitty, I want her to succeed. I want her to do well. But at the same time, I'm like, she's so good at this stuff. And if she's working this hard, I'm honestly glad I did too. I think collectively for this showcase post, I probably put in 14 hours of work. 
literally didn't sleep nonstop, completely worked through the night. I'm just gonna add captions and then I'm done. The pressure is on. We are using every single last second to work on this showcase post. I'm looking across the room and I see Eleanor is furiously tapping at her phone while I'm furiously tapping at my phone and time is about to be up and it is really stressful. Now for a Valley Rays moment. I've hit a point of mania. Um, last showcase post that I'll be doing like this, which is crazy. As if I like couldn't put more hours and time into a showcase post, I somehow put more hours and time into it. I've been a cosplayer for almost half a decade now, so I'm not new to the costume game, but what I did for this showcase post is like, it's literally unlike anything I've ever done ever in my life. I've been wanting to do something on invisible disabilities because I'm deaf in my left ear and I feel like people always misunderstand me and they always think I'm like a ditzy blonde girl, but like most of the time I just can't hear what's going on. I'm really, really happy about this. And if this ends up being my final showcase post, honestly couldn't be happier. What I wanted to do is make it to the end and I'm like one, I'm one elimination round away from making it to the end. Post end. <laughs> Time will tell. Now that the showcase posts have been uploaded, the industry experts and online community will determine who stays and who goes. The influencer with the lowest votes this week could be eliminated from the competition. Feeling under pressure. Feeling under Hi. 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 Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, we are now down to only two contestants left in this competition. <laughs> Last week, Hugh was eliminated by the industry experts and the versus game online community and is now in the creator's lounge with the other eliminated players. Tonight, one of you will be heading straight to the finale and one person will be joining the other eliminated competitors, hoping to get back in the game. We are really getting down to it. So let's check in with the rest of the group in the lounge. Hey guys, how's it going in the creator's lounge? Hi. Howdy. All right, we'll check back in with you a little later. Now this week you worked with Hubba Bubba Mini Gum and our follow me favorite, Courtney Revolution. It was a super exciting team challenge and produced some of the best posts we've seen all season. We saw you embracing the Hubba Bubba inspired theme, highlighting the joys of everyday life through your inner child. All the posts were amazing and there's no question that all of you have grown so much throughout this journey. And I personally could not be more excited for all of you. So before we get to this week's showcase posts, I have a couple of questions for you both. Kitty. Hi. So you were teamed up with Eleanor for this week's Hubba Bubba Challenge. Of <laughs> so how was it working with your showcase post competitor? So fun. I mean, she's like my closest friend in the entire competition too. I feel like um, to make it this far, we already have this like bond where like we're there for each other. And honestly, we just wanted to have fun with that video and we really totally did. It was great, especially leading up to this. It was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Eleanor. Hi. So your content style is so creative. It brings out a fun and adventurous spirit in everything that you do. So how do you bring that spirit to brands like Hubba Bubba when you're making content for them? Ooh, I mean, I think in working with brands, they hire me because they know I'm gonna do something crazy. Like they know I'm gonna be fun and colorful and extra and like extravagant and out there. So that's kind of my MO, super fun this week. Love it. Well, it is that time. It's now all about the showcase post. 
This is where you took anything you learned this week and made an original piece of content that has been shared with industry experts and the versus game universe. Well, the results are now in. You both ready to get into it? Yes! <laughs> After seeing both of your videos, I will tell you which competitor will be safe and heading straight to the finale, and which competitor will need to go back to the creator's lounge to fight for their spot with the other eliminated players. Only one player will be voted back into the game. It's all happening right now. Your fans have spoken, and I'm gonna start with Kitty. Uh. Kitty, you ready? I'm ready. Uh, yay. Well, you have definitely found your groove. So what was your process in creating this week's showcase post? Oh, oh my God. That's a great question. I wanted to talk about uh, the invisible disabilities and traumas and stories and experiences that everybody has but nobody ever talks about. Um, I feel like a lot of people misunderstand each other and I feel like I wanted to create a video about it while also bringing forth my invisible disabilities or things that I've struggled with. Um, and yeah, I just brought it to life in a kitty way. All right, kitty, it is time to take a look at your showcase Yay. post. Sounds good. What if we had strings attached to our traumas? Would we understand each other then? Nobody would know that the sight of a measuring tape makes me tense, scarred by a modeling industry that I've never felt thin enough for, or that I'm deaf in one ear. I'm labeled as ditzy because in order to hear, I turn my head to the right and say, what? Yes, that's what a disability looks like. Like an inverted peacock, my insides are decorated with these invisible strings. Being pulled in so many directions, like I'm trying to swim out of my own entanglement, but I start to drown in self-doubt and insecurity. I can't see your invisible strings, but I know they're there. Because just like the strings I carry are the flowers I grow, what has made me hard has also made me soft. Because to see me is to see you and every single point of you. You are just giving us more and more every week, and I feel that we get to witness your experience and your journey as a creator, and I feel like you've blossomed so much in this competition. Oh, I feel you. that your ideas are so unique, and also working with brands or being a content creator, that is such a rare quality to have that makes you irreplaceable because no one has what you have. I really love your concept of working with your disabilities and working with the things that have been challenged challenges for you. Also, I think the symbolism of the jacket that you made and you showed shots of you kind of like struggling with it and being pulled by it and uh, wrestling with it. And then in the end, you're kind of almost representative of like being harmonious with it. And we see you like walk out of the pool and you're not struggling with it anymore. But I think it, it speaks volumes how like we can't really ever remove the challenges in our lives. We just have to work how to play with them and to make something beautiful out of them. And I feel like that's what you did with this post is you took your challenges and you made art and beauty out of it. It was gorgeous. Yay, thank you. Thank you. It was fun to make. Well, I have some news for you, Kitty. Your results are in. How are you liking your chances of getting to the finale? Uh, I mean, I guess I'm liking them. I mean, my goal was just to put everything I had into the post, my heart, my soul, everything. And I feel like now that I did that, I feel like whatever happens, like I feel good about how much I gave to it. I love that. Well, I can tell you that the rankings are very tight at this point in the competition. Do you want to know who could be going to the finale? So do I. And those results are going to be revealed when we come back. Welcome back to Follow Me. We have seen our competitors give it their all this week. They've worked with experts, celebrities, and of course, got the once in a lifetime chance to work with Hubba Bubba Mini Gum. They've made such amazing content already, but now it comes down to this. Each of you have uploaded your 45 second showcase post to our industry experts and versus game platform. And the results are in. Kitty, Eleanor, 
One of you could be headed to the finale right now, and the other will need to go back and fight for their competitive life. But first, let's get down to business with Eleanor. <laughs> So Eleanor, you've been sharing so much of yourself and being so vulnerable with us. So what can we expect from your showcase post this week? Oh man, I feel like I was pretty brave with this one. I, I think my track record honestly kind of shows that I know what the industry experts want out of me. And I also know what I want to do. And I know what my audience loves the most about me. And I love being sentimental and like exploring femininity and all these things, but at my core, I'm just like a weird little freak. Like I'm just a little weirdo. And I would have been so sad if I didn't show that on this massive stage. So this week, my showcase post really isn't for anyone but my audience and for me. All right, Eleanor, let's take a look at your showcase post. Little girls grow up wanting to be mermaids, but sometimes I feel more like a fish out of water. Scaly, awkward, off-putting and out of place, occasionally scared of my own reflection. Sometimes I feel like I wasn't born human. Humans can speak without listening and watching first. They don't always fall a step behind their friends on the sidewalk. They keep their spaces clean, feel comfortable in love. They socialize openly without wondering where all the other fish are hidden. Am I the only one? But the thing about fish is, well, eventually they do find each other, just like we have here. They're artists, always changing color with their environment, feeling intense pleasure and pain, loving without speaking, intrepid in their desire to survive. I'll never conquer fear, and maybe I'll never feel like I belong, but recently I've learned to move through it with art. Feels a bit like swimming. Eleanor, you are bringing out all the stops. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I could definitely see what you meant by going into this post for you. Yeah. This felt like your heart. This felt like so naturally and beautifully you. The makeup was insane. Thank I can you. only imagine <laughs> how long that took you. I'm and it. the detail <laughs> was Insane. I mean, I've said it before, you're such an artist in everything that you do. Uh, I thought that it was executed so well. The messaging of it was very inspirational, of course. And we love that vulnerable side of you that you've been showing us. And I also just think the shots were so stunning. That ending shot, like that power <laughs> moment. Like you just claimed back your power in like the most beautiful way. And also being a creator myself, I know what that's like. Like we see all these beautiful ending shots of like you in the elevator, you in the car, but I know the in-betweens of like staying up all night, having to get those shots, getting weird looks in public. Like it's definitely not what we show all the time. True. There's so much that you're doing kind of alone a lot of the time. Yeah. And so that does not go unnoticed and props to you. That was incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Well, Eleanor, you did not disappoint this week. As I said, it's a very tight competition. In fact, you possibly could be eliminated right now. Let's see what the rest of the cast have to say. Hey, guys. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. Great job, ladies. Amazing. 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 All right, let's get into it. It is anybody's game. Kitty, Eleanor, it is time. The person who is heading to the finale and in the running for the $50,000 grand prize is Eleanor. What? <laughs> Yay. Oh my God, I'm Congrats, out. Eleanor. You are continuing on <laughs> in the competition. Oh my God, oh my God I freaked out. <laughs> so good. I didn't expect that at all. Whoa. <laughs> Congrats. Oh, thank you. It was such an amazing post. You should be very proud of you. Thank amazing. you so amazing. much. Thanks. Kitty, you have been eliminated from the competition for now, but you do have a lifeline. You will now need to join the other eliminated competitors in the creator's lounge and vote one person back into the game. And the best part is you are eligible to come back. I know it's very tense right now. So head back and join your fellow players. And when the group has reached a decision, send out the other finalist to the stage. I'm so happy for you. I love you.
Hi. Hi. I was eliminated. So oh. we are all supposed to vote for the person that we want to be voted back in. Okay. And then we're gonna send them in to the stage. You okay. Good? How are you yeah, feeling? I mean, honestly, her video is just so genius that like you watch it and you're like, it totally makes sense and like, oh, like I'm just glad I got to like compete next to her. You know what I mean? Mm. So yeah, you. your video was amazing. amazing. Oh, thank you guys. Truly, thank you. it was really beautiful. Thank you, Eleanor. It is that time. One player is getting voted back in for the finale. Do you want to know who they voted back into the competition? Yes, of course. <laughs> the player who is coming back is gonna be revealed when we come back. <laughs> Welcome back to Follow Me. Our eliminated players are all voting right now. In terms of getting voted back in the game, I think the person who's won most of the challenges or six out of eight challenges to be exact should probably come back in. And the only rule they have is to vote for any player other than themselves. Who's coming back? Have alliances been formed? Will it be a wild card? It would mean everything to come back. I just feel like this 50K would be life-changing for myself, for my family. Who is about to walk through that door? This is like very wild. I'm just like also like, okay, I could be voted back in potentially now, very soon. So I'm stressed, nervous, but also vibing. All right, I'm honestly freaking out a little bit. How intense is this for you right now? I like have not stopped shaking. I, I don't know why I, I really didn't expect this. So I, I just, I feel out of body right now, actually. So Eleanor, who do you think has the best chance to get back in the game? Oh my gosh. Um, I mean, Vince is friends with everybody. Kitty is obviously like so deserving. Um, but Carrington's won every brand challenge, so who knows? I know everyone feels like Kayla didn't deserve to be eliminated. Like, I feel like it could be legitimately anyone. All right, are you ready to see who's back? Yes, I'm so ready. <laughs> the player who has been voted back into the game is... Oh, I love Vince. He's like the coolest person I've honestly ever met, and I love that he thinks I'm cool too. I don't know why, but I really feel like we're gonna be friends just forever. Oh my god. Oh, so cool. oh I'm like. Oh my god, we're both sweating. Okay. I know. We're wet. Oh my god. Hi. Hi. I ran right by you. I'm sorry. Yes, oh Eleanor, that's right. Vince is back in the game. Oh, this is my dream. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it. I'm freaking you. Well, the finale is set. Congrats to the both of you. Now, as finalists, you will be making your final showcase posts. This is the post where you will be judged on stage by our special guests. And one of you two remaining competitors will become the Follow Me Season 2 champion and you'll walk out of here $50,000 richer. See you at the finale. Thank you, players. Thank you, Hubba Bubba. I'm Bethany Moda, and I will see you on the next episode of Follow Me. <laughs>